Now that we know what UDF parallel model is and we know why we need it, in this video we're going to talk about how to implement the UDF parallel model into our own project finance models. Step one, I have my project finance model and the parallel model both open. Step two, in the UDF output sheet in the parallel model, there is a button on the top. I click on it and a pop-up menu opens. Step three, I click on the button to export the two worksheets and the VBA project from the UDF to my own model. Step four, I go back to my model and see that the two sheets are now included in the model. At this point, I can close the parallel model file. Step five, I go to the UDF input sheet and establish the necessary links. Some inputs might not be relevant to my case, so I just don't activate or input zero for those items. Step six, I go to UDF output sheet and click on the button and select formatting. Now that the UDF is populated, I make the necessary links to my model, for example, my total project cost line, which, is used, which used to be hard-coded and has pasted values. I link it to the UDF output. I do the same for debt sizing and for repayment profiles. Step eight, I check that there are no differences between my calculation and the UDF results. And if there are any, I drill down to understand where the difference is coming from. Okay, now that you know what UDF power model is and you know how to use it, now it's your turn to go and experiment with it. And I'm sure that, you know, with time, you can just take it to another level. And I hope to hear from you as well. Let us know what you think about the UDF model and whether you are able to use it in your own financial models. Thank you and bye.